noise you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Listen to me. Run, run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. It's Radio BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is BAM here <laughs> with the shit goose. <laughs> Yeah. Novak and Mike Nutt, my avid editor. <laughs> and uh, I'm talking in a monotone voice because... Good word, I like that word. Yeah. ...he hopped up on loads of morphine. <laughs> you lucky fuck. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um, a little if I told you what I did in the past 24 hours, you probably wouldn't believe me. Well, you guys would believe me, but if I had to tell the average, <laughs> if I had to tell the average Joe average on the side Joe. of the road, he'd be like, you're a liar. So let's this, hear this shit. All right, yeah. Oh, I'll die to hear it. I'm your friend. It all started 24 hours ago when I was taking a shit. <laughs> I get a text message on my phone from Lil John, the rapper. He says to come to the Marriott in Philadelphia to have a drink with him. So I wasn't doing anything that day except taking a shit. So I hop in the car. I drive all the way to the Marriott Which thinking car? I'm going to have a drink. The Blue Hummer. So then... Uh, I meet him in there. I'm like, so what are you doing in Philly? He's like, hop on the tour bus because we got Eminem and 50 Cent and uh, Pitbull and all of these like rappers oh and stuff. God, no, you're just, you're, you're so, uh, killing Novak here with that. <laughs> just saying that. You're and they're playing a the show. I go to the, the Tweeter Center and uh, have this big old show. I have a few drinks and then um, they're just like, fuck it. Why don't you just come to uh, come with us on the tour bus and, and, and then we'll go to 50 Cent's house and then we'll kick it all day. So uh, I followed him in the Hummer. The whole crew went or just 50 Cent? The whole bus went? The with whole all the bus. Rap, Eminem, all the, the rappers whole, were there? Dude. The whole, the whole entourage? Everything. So we get to 50 Cent's house. <laughs> it is the biggest fucking house I've ever seen. Mike my Tyson's life. old house, right? Yeah, and, a lot, and everybody who's lived there had horrible luck. Like, you know, Tyson's broke is a joke. He, had, he actually was getting a house built in L.A., and he had to cancel oh, midway because man. he ran out of cash. You How act, do you say that when you're at that level? Like, it's horrible. You know, contract, I you actually, pay, but. you actually texted me, and you said the walls are made of Gucci, and you said yeah. you think he's going to be an MC Hammer soon. Well, it, it could shot. happen. Well, this is because the guy who was saying, telling me about the house said that everybody who lives in that house has horrible luck. And besides Mike Tyson, there was a guy in there that was just a real estate dude who was just fucking loaded. He uh, got caught doing some shady shit. Now he's in jail for fucking life. Oh, oh my God. Something yeah. like that. And then there's another story before that. But, dude, he has 50 bedrooms. <laughs> he has, like, no, really, it's three like 24 pools. bedrooms or something. He like has that? a club, club inside of his house. Yeah. He has, like, a, an entire gym. Like, dude, you thought Mitch's gym was something? Times that by two, and that's his gym. Are you serious? And he just he, he lives there alone, right? It's just him. Probably him and a, uh, well, he probably has his workers. I'm sure workers. he has. Like, dude, the, garage. the maintenance alone to that place would probably take 10 dudes working all day just to keep it updated. <laughs> Shitbirds would hate life if he had to work for that guy. Rooms <laughs> that, he had about five pool tables. <laughs> all the walls were like Gucci cloth. Like, you, like the purses the that cost $1,000, yeah. like that print, oh. but like he had it all over the walls. So tell us how it went down. You get to his house, what do you do? Like, yeah, what, do you, what do you do Like, what does he, does he say, yo, what's up, come in, do what you want? Like, what's he do? Uh, tell us party about 50 Dom Perignon or whatever. Did you get your room? What's going on? Yeah. Well, I didn't want to be like Fan the dude out. to say what's up and all that, so I just kind of let him like come over to me and, uh, uh and then he, he was, he, he was like <laughs> talking to somebody, walking around his, uh, big moat with a fountain in it on the phone he was talking or no no he was like talking to like one of his homeboys or whatever and uh me and missy were laying on this this like lounge chair and she was like on <laughs> top of me just, and I'm just making out with his girlfriend and i'm like these house and i like not even said hi yet and i'm like a mojito and shit and then he walks by and he just goes that chair never looked better like that and i'm just like haha cool man and he's like you didn't hear me, nigga. I said, that chair that never looked good like that. I'm serious. I'm oh, like, my God. That's scared? awesome. No, like, he was stoked because, like, it looked like we were, I was getting ready to get blowed on that chair or something. Like, he got all <laughs> stoked on it. He's like, that's the best that chair's ever looked. So then, uh, oh my God. So then I he said, what's no up? Sincere. And then, like, the girl that he was with, dude. What's the girl, like, white, black? She was black, but then... 30 minutes later, he had his arm around some other girl, and then <laughs> five oh, seconds man. later, dude, I think he had, like, a, a, a tour bus of, like, 100 models show up, and, dude, 
And like you'd uh, think that if they have like thong bikinis on, like that's cool because that's like their beach wear. But the fact that they have high heels on tells that that's their primped up outfit to try to get hung yeah, by one of those dudes. Nice, Just man. begging for that dick of fifty cents. Yeah, like uh, one girl yeah. walked by Lloyd Banks. You know him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. Dude, he had a, man. He had on this. Man, you're with all my idols, man. Dude, Fuck. he had the biggest diamond necklace on, and then he had See you, then. the yeah, statue. Then, then. But then he had the Statue of Liberty just covered in diamonds. It must have been <laughs> at least a hundred grand. So what did bitch do when she walked by? Well, she walked by. He's like, "Damn, girl, so what's up?" You know, and she was just like, "What's up? What's what?" He's just like, "You want to do this?" Like, and she was like, <laughs> "All right." And then they oh just like God. they just went to her. like, dude, those girls must have been hired to show up on a tour, but like hired a model oh, and they just sure. come in to just bang out him and all of his boys. I mean, Lloyd Banks sealed yeah. the deal with them, girl. What's up? It, dude, that's all it took for the sealed deal. It's all six. It's, it's all, all it was. Like, dude, like you're I, a multi-millionaire. I, I don't even know if you have that fully. I, 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 I could tell that he that he just met her that at that point. Because, right there was his first yeah. intro. Damn girl, what's up with you? Like yeah, it was just at, so mellow. Look at like Novak's that. face. When you were actually up there and texting me and telling me about that shit, Novak. Was every time I day. said fifty cent, he would just like almost like break down. Uh, like I would almost forget like, about it. And Bam's, he's like, "Yeah, so Bam's just taking for fifty. I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" And I'm like, "Yo, you got to so change too, for fifty. Like, he was having like a barbecue, so some people couldn't. They had to like park out on the street, dude. He had all these cops there, like so much high tech security. Like I stopped at this shit bag mobile station like a gas station to try to find like a map of, of Farmington where he lives because it's like it's right near um, yeah, Hartford I pull in and I'm just like uh, I'm trying to find like Poplar Hill Drive and you know you have like a map that I could buy they're like wait where are you trying to go 50 cents house what do you just want to drive by and look at it I'm just like no I'm they actually you were no no it was just like some old lady or whatever, like <laughs> nah actually uh, I have to go there actually you know she's like Damn, what what you do? I'm like, I just ride a skateboard. I don't know. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just break shit, babe. I just Dude, just that, that house is insane. Though. But anyway, they let me like drive up on onto the you got VIP like, the, drive the property. Up. What do you think of your Hummer? The blue Hummer. I don't think I don't know if you saw it. It was just parked up with all these the Bentleys Lambo, and Maybach. Dude, Dude if I had the fucking Lambo, fuck. You know why I didn't have the Lambo? Because this dipshit put synthetic oil in it, which is completely the wrong stuff. I told this exotic mm. dealer guy, I'm like, look, my Lambo takes special oil and it's low as shit, and he's like, yeah, it's synthetic. I'm like, are you sure? And it happened to be the wrong kind. So now it's sitting in the fucking garage. You got to get it towed to the dealership to oh. get the. Yeah, because I can't even out, dry. I have right? to get it drained out. You must get gonna a cost, whole new. It's going to have to cost five hundred dollars to get an oil change. Well, they got to pay for that, not you. No, he does. Who the guy? They put it in. Then I got to cause this big ass deal and shit. <laughs> See, you I know when you got no, money, when like you not, don't got time Mike, to spend to Mike save five hundred. You might need a whole new transmission in there. No, gear no, shift. No, no, no. no, no. no. So fuck all, all that clutch, car shit. Was Eminem there? Fuck all that car shit. Yeah, but he was like up at the like top. Dude, he is What's so. What's his deal? Tell me about He me. is so over like fan fame, fans talking to people. Like, I already dude, retired. Th I there was uh, at least a hundred broads there with just thongs on, with just like some girls had like pearl thongs going up their ass. They might as well have been naked. You Man. know what I mean? <laughs> and like he was just upstairs. He must have been in fifties room, just sitting there like chilling. Because uh, when I was sitting out on the lawn chair, I was looking up like at the windows and shit, and like I could totally see him just sitting up top with like. Two dudes. Did we just uh, computer work in? Like, no, they, just they looking out the window, looking at all the girls and stuff. But really, yeah, and like Kim, I think Kim, little Kim. Kim? No, Kim was there. Kim Matt. Really? Yeah. I want to know her deal. Are they man. back together again? She was there at the concert, and he didn't talk any shit on her at the concert, so they must be on. How's she look in person? Um, she's right. She's like taller than him. She had like a Kamal hat on her. <laughs> Kamal, what is it called? Kamal. Oh. The one of those crazy fucking fur hats. Oh, I know. Oh, that oh, fucking yeah, 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 Alaskan yeah. sumo things. Kangle. 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 That's Kangle. what it is. Kangle. Kangle. Yeah, Kangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come so, on. <laughs> so I'm going to devote this uh, next song to uh, Eminem, Kim oh. Mathers, um, 50 Cent, and Lloyd Banks. What song? A hymn song. <laughs> oh, man. I've been, dude, I've been begging to play this 50 Cent song for years. We should play well, it. Out of time tonight. Out of control remix. We'll no. That, for the man. love of Baltimore. All about heroin, dude. May maybe. He, he, All he, right. He, he took you to his house. All right, cool. All right. Well, maybe we'll play. Dude, I've been trying for years to get this song on. Oh, dude! <laughs> Not to mention rap music. I go up to Little John's. But he has a whole tour bus with a studio in there. Yes, studio. And the I forget bus. this his one uh, friend's name, but he was playing me a song. He was so stoked on it, and he was so serious, and I was just laughing my ass off. But he didn't know what I was laughing at. <laughs> like he was dead serious. Like fuck yeah, this is gonna be like the new club hit. Like it suck. 
It didn't suck. It was funny. It was just like, you was a freak. I'm a freak. She's a freak. Let me put. I can just picture the beat too. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like, you know, like that down south Atlanta shit. They it was done. like, it was like, I'm a freak. You's a freak. She's a freak. I put my finger in your duty hole. I'm like, duty hole. <laughs> That's his actual wow. words. I want to put my finger in your duty hole. But he wasn't like laughing about it. Like when he was singing the words He's to me serious. to the beat, like because he was actually singing along in the tour bus, and he was like wiggling his finger, like I put my finger in your duty hole. Like there was a concert for you. It's, that that's, yeah. that's the radio edit version instead of saying asshole. You say duty hole. But you can <laughs> say <laughs> asshole, can't you? No, no, probably not. Nah. Really, nah. no. Damn, unless it's serious. Uh, yeah, right. My head is bleeding right now. Yeah, it is. I can't even look at it, man. I don't, it looks I can't so look at it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, All right. it's pretty good. Right. For the blood, record, it's for the record, record onto the set dripping. list of music. Wait, did I even play. say that I fell into the fucking... Did I say that I got staples? Yeah, yes, you no, did. We just started. I yeah. never even got to the fucking you morphine you part. Staples. You're so dripping morphine. blood onto the set Let's list. Take a little picture, Gene. Oh, dude. Someone get up and have I can't play a song right now. I gotta see what happened. All right, going, dude. So I was at 50 Cent's house. I chilled there, then I drove all the way down to New Hope, which is probably the coolest PA town I've ever seen. It's a witch town. So I had a drink there. What's the New Hope? Then I drove to Evil Jared Hasselhoff's house where he was filming Cribs. Hasselhoff. And then uh, I drove a banana car into a lake, and then uh, Jared told me that the lake was seven feet deep. So I did a gainer off the top of the car when it was floating. A gainer? And it was two feet oh, deep. I can't even look at your face. I hit my head so hard that I went to the hospital, and now I have... 12 staples in my head Look I just got here. and ladies and gentlemen he's telling me the story he's I'm looking over the other way I glance at his face and he's got blood oh, dripping shit, from his forehead on, completely on, covering man. his eye this is down his face so, so I, 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 I got rushed to the hospital they do all these x-rays and they never looked at my head for two hours I'm like is somebody gonna like eat, look at the, my head or eat, fix it or something? And they're like, well, your neck, your neck seems to be all right. I'm like, my neck isn't the fucking problem. I mean, it hurts like fuck, but I have, yeah. I have a gash seven inches big, yeah, long. Neck, this is a first. Let's do it now. Bam's bleeding from the head and still doing his so. Own yeah, I so fucking, I went to the hospital. I was there all goddamn day, and uh, now oh. I have twelve staples <laughs> in my head, and uh, I'm, I'm playing a new, I'm playing a new hymn song. This song's called Wings of a Butterfly, and uh, it's it's on their new album coming out on my birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't respect anything else, respect the motivation of him doing this radio show yeah, right radio, now. Man. He's got blood dripping from his face down his mouth off on the paper, dude. <laughs> so, uh, man, Let's hear this. Yeah, you gotta put them up. With the wings off a butterfly, this is him, Radio Bam, Serious from the Faction. Faction, baby. I guess. Now back to Radio Bam. What'd you guys think of that hymn song? That was good. I actually liked that. When's that album Very good. again? Your birthday? Yeah, you September said? 28th. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Yeah, I think they're actually going to be playing uh, like a Viva La Band show in Miami right before the uh, music awards with CKY. Really? Oh, no shit. So that'd be good. Are they Damn. playing? When are they playing in Philly? Um, uh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm rigging this uh, Viva La Bands tour right now, um, all through October, November. Most of the bands on the album gonna play, or just the, the, a few set bands, you know? Yeah, it's just we're gonna switch it up a bit with all the bands. I don't know. My head's bleeding right yeah, now. I'm like morphine's kicking in. Yeah, bam. Let me give you a test here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we think this is gonna be great. Since you're good with uh, geography, I typed this up for you. This is uh, a test to see. We were yeah. talking about this earlier. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's the capital? Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah, Bahrain. Um. Oh, fuck. Wait, what does it start with? M. Oh, Manamar. Holy yeah. shit. All right, Croatia. Zagreb. Holy shit. Estonia. Talent. Haiti. Uh, what does it start with? P? P. Port Al Prince. <laughs> Holy shit. Man. Zimbabwe. He's got it locked. Uh, does it start with an H? Yes. Herrera. <laughs> I'm, I'm right. seeing, but I'm not believing. Yeah. Grenada. Grenada. Holy shit, what does it start with? S. He's got it. Salva, I don't know. All right, forget that. What one. is it? St. George's. No, I don't know. Uh, Lebanon. Get the S right. Lebanon, Beirut. Uruguay. Uruguay. Montevideo. Guam. Guam. What does it start with? H. Fuck. Uh, Guam. <laughs> That's not the capital. Uh, what, uh, give me more. Say the first syllable. H A. I don't know. What is it? Hagnata. <laughs> all right, all right. Two more. Three more. Can't even pronounce it. Fiji. Suva. Nepal. Uh, Kathmandu. Albania. 
Albania. Tyrene. And how about Endora? Endora? Yeah. Was that new? I think so. Never heard of it. Forget it. What is See? it? How do you know <laughs> these Holy shit. Study books? Endora shit. is Endora Lavelle. He's traveled the planet. No. It? Ever since I've known him, since he was a little kid, all he does is stare at the world maps and just studies capitals of... How many have you been to out of what you just named? None. <laughs> <laughs> but you can seriously ask him any question. I mean, you know, ask him like a country, a state, and he'll know Well, the, the thing map. was... It's amazing. I, I realized one day that if I just learned like... 40 more capitals I would know all of them in the world so I just like drove back and forth to New York when I was 17 and I just wrote all these capitals on a shoebox and I just kept looking at them like during the entire drive because I was always going to New York to like skate or try to fucking get in a movie or something so I was driving back and forth and I just had it all taped to a shoebox on the passenger seat and I would just like be like Bahrain, Manamar and then I would just say it again. That's amazing, yeah. I just keep saying like ten in a row, and then finally I just. I'll, I'll, I'll come up with a list next week, next show. I'll tell Fuck, this. you caught me off guard too. I, I probably would have yeah, got him all still, if, if I would have been. No, we were still. outside talking. We figured he's brilliant. Like all high up. Yeah, we <laughs> figured like if, you might not get. It. If I had a multiple choice, like for a test, I'd you get every have, fucking yeah, one. Yeah, no, I tell you would. Like, as all I need to know is like the first letter, and then I'd know it. I'll catch you off guard next time. I'll do it. So yeah, so you stayed at Fifty Cent's house, right? That night, man, you just can't get over Fifty Cent, can you? I can't. He was bumming all the time. So you were bumming because you stayed in his house, right? Uh, I stayed till about... I, I fell asleep there. And then but, where'd you go? Because you stayed at, there. At about 2.30 or 3, then I left and I drove to... Port Jarvis. You know where that is? You went to Port Jarvis? You know where that is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is that? That place is a shithole. It's a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there? it's on the border of... It's like Jersey and upstate... Or no, like, upstate New York, PA yeah, and Jersey. Jersey. Like, yeah. like, there's a, yeah. probably a point where you could be in all four, or all three Why? corners. Why? Yeah. <laughs> The so I stayed in Port Jarvis. At a hotel or something? Oh, yeah, then I drove all the way down the coast of Route 611, which is probably the coolest drive ever. That's like Broad Street in a weird way. No, six. it's just right down the Delaware River from, yeah. from upstate New York, like through the Delaware Water Gap. and then uh, Eventually it will connect to Broad Street because 611 yes. is Broad Street. Oh, it is? Yeah. 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 So, so. so I rode that all the way to New Hope. And everybody told me that New Hope was like a cool-ass like, town. It's like a witch town, dude. Like, yeah. Like, they have stores with, like, upside-down stars, and it says, like, <laughs> witchcraft. or Surprised you're bringing <laughs> weird shit home with you. I wanted to. Weird shit. I, I, lo I lost my credit card at 50 Cent's house. Did you lose <laughs> Did you, did you lose one-fourth out of your pocket? Remember we talked about that last week, how you always lose shit? You keep one in one pocket, yeah. one in the other? Yeah, so that's what I did. So my, my All these right? credit cards floating around at 50 yeah. Cent's house. It really is. Man. I thought my passport was, too. <laughs> He had an ice cream truck come over, and he was serving everybody lobsters and filet mignon. <laughs> oh, man. Out of an ice cream truck. Dude, That's I will take a dig in the ass for morning. free to experience that day, man. I'm you, telling buddy, you. Because your weekend was yeah. not he had, a, he had a stage there, and, and Lloyd Banks performed and shit. Sure, and, and, man, buddy. And Tony Yayo, you know? Yeah, he's on house arrest. Is he? Yeah, he came over from prison. Well, his last name is Tony Cocaine, <laughs> so I'm sure he's doing bad things. <laughs> Did any of them do bad things? Did you see any weird activities going on um, party-wise? You know, like no, nah, I actually don't even think fifty drinks. Really? I don't even think he smokes weed either. I don't. I've never seen him talk about weed. I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen him have beers or something on some show or something. Like I don't that. think he drinks. I really don't. He might not now. Tony, yo, he, he used to sell coke, and he did go to prison for coke. <laughs> He just came out. Didn't you see the box? He's got a box on his, well, like, his thing. <laughs> Yayo -yo is so... so cool. Cool. How can you be disagree with that? What's your name, son? Tony Yayo, officer. What's that? I'm not. I mean, my grandmother gave it to me. <laughs> Fuck, you're in love with cocaine. <laughs> Who are you fooling? <laughs> so, uh, do you do any hard drugs such as uh, heroin, cocaine, or um, crystal meth? No, officer. Uh, what's your name again? Tony Yayo. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't do cocaine. Okay, empty your pockets, young man. Oh, I got, you know, a couple ah. thousand dollar wraps here. Let me take my 24 karat platinum necklace off. I, I like but that. I'm legit. I work uh, nine yeah. to five. <laughs> Damn, you have a fat wad of cash there. Like, where did that come from? Uh, I, I did some um, hard work down there. I worked down there at the uh, at the arcade, the video arcade. <laughs> officer, you know, you know, it's been raining a lot. Grass is growing, man. My lawnmower hasn't stopped running yet. I got, I got a, uh, I've been working for my butter, yeah. buddy. He's lawnmower coming. It's been summertime. Been raining like crazy, so the lawn like grows a little faster. So I've been cutting a lot of lawn. I got all kinds of new customers out here. I, I swear, I got pay I, I got paychecks to show where this money came from. Who the fuck you lying, rapper? This actually yeah. makes me want to look green. into a phone book right now and just see if anyone's last name is heroin. I just love the, the way meth. these guys live, dude. You know? Yeah. Meth. 
Because I don't know, they just get their... Well, how many albums do you think? 50 sold, probably 15 million. Well, his first one did went platinum. That's sold like 10 s- times over. 7 to 14 his million. New one, I mean, his new one, it grew on me, but for the love of Baltimore, it's the best song I've probably ever heard rap-wise. God, it's so good. Plus, it's about heroin, so that's sold me right away. This first album was... Oh, it was that, great. That was... That's, that's that, the only that rap album I can listen to front to end without skipping tracks. It's really that good. I, I'm a skipper, man. 50, I think 50 Cent likes, like, all the shit that we do, because he just pushed uh, Steve-O down a f- flight of uh, um, three, like, t- <laughs> stairs of ten. Like, ten, <laughs> really? flat, like ten, ten, flat ten. A triple set. He was in a... He, was, he pushed him off a triple set in one of those uh, luggage carts. Oh, man. How, how broke off the Steve-O get? you hear about it? Um... Well, he was, no, he he was fine. It. I mean, he doesn't have fucking 12 stables in his head, so... He got 12 stables from diving in a goddamn Two pie. feet of water, man. That is insane. I don't know any shit. You're lucky, buddy. Yeah, but I'm calling you today. It's terrible. She's like, Pam's in the hospital. No one knows where he's at. This one has her phone. No one's doing the radio show. She's doing shit birds. I get here like, he goes, everyone's here except you. Yeah, we can't remember. Right? We're just like, just, we, your mom was living out. I was in Westchester Diner with Oz and shit. I was hey, you remember like panic mode? how we did the introduction last week? And we like we were like yeah, Bam's in the hospital. We we, we never said if he's okay or not. We were just like yeah, he's in the hospital. And so how was your weekend? I you know, know I heard the funniest story. Today. I never really knew how how fucking shit bird here. I mean, G, I was, <laughs> how G got the gill. I knew he got it from a diving board kind of. Yeah, but what you story. always oh. lack to explain tell is the him. fact that oh. you people want to know about the you gill tell story. The you tell, tell the Woodward story. Tell, you told it today. It was hilarious. You want me to explain this, or you want to explain how it? you took his car, you drove it home, you parked it no parking. Basically, I was like. 16 years old I didn't give a fuck about shit I dared to do a triple front flip off the high dive at Woodward he ruptures his spleen he starts coughing up blood I'm still laughing about it yeah. then he That's decides raised by the pool then he decides to go to the to the hospital no to the nurse's office to the nurse's office they ship him to the hospital we take the keys to his car leave him in Woodward and then we find Sha- Shaquille O'Neal rap CDs and we're just like is G really listening to this and we were just chucking him out the window on the way home <laughs> yeah this, I'm in the hospital for two and a half weeks in Penn State hey, this dude oh has this God, dude's father fun. comes and picks yeah. him up because Bam and Maldonado stole his truck took but not only truck. is that the worst Bam pulls up to G's house and finds a spot that says no, no parking, parking and says fuck off to the truck. G comes out of the hospital three weeks later, yeah. all because he did what Bam asked him to do and comes home to like 50 tickets on his windshield. There's, there's, there's like like $200 worth of tickets and had a boot. And there was a boot on it too, actually. But oh, it was insane. I, all because he didn't feel like waiting yeah, around. But I, I, so I was good. in the hospital. I was in intensive care unit. I had two and a half pints of blood in my stomach. And they had to pump that shit out. Yeah, and meanwhile, this, this, this fucker like, takes my truck and just joyrides it back to Philly. <laughs> he makes his dad come get him. <laughs> what, a, what a great All friend. I gotta say is that <laughs> I've ruptured my spleen, I've broke my foot three times, I've uh, cracked, I've broken my tailbone. Uh, you ruptured your appendix. Ruptured my appendix. I, yeah, yeah. And then I've, I've broke my wrists and arms probably 11 times now. Yeah. And I would have to say... That getting 12 staples in your fucking head is the worst pain that out is, of all of them. That is you know, bad. it's funny because I've actually haven't had any problems at all from skating or nothing. I really broke shit. I'm on morphine right now and it still hurts. But morphine, I've had one problem. I've had 12 fentanyl. staples on my head. Exactly what you had. I've had exactly 12 staples in my head when I went through a windshield. It hurt like a bitch. <laughs> but when, it, when they pull the staples out, you feel nothing. You don't even feel them pulling them out. So really? You, yeah, it's like seriously... You don't even know that they're doing it. It just comes right out. But it's weird. I've never had any problems where I've had exactly 12 stables in my head. You can see the line. It's fucked I up. I mean, I got punched out in the face one time, and that that was bad. <laughs> so I, I had a Wasn't that the first day that you moved to Philly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What an intro. A the first day moves like, geez, like, yeah, I'm from Wayne, New Jersey. You know, I'm going to move all my things. He didn't even move his luggage into his house Not yet. Even. And already, <laughs> this, this guy's just like, Beep, beep. Come on, asshole, go, motherfucker! And he's just like, "Fuck you!" And then the guy gets out. He's this big Italian guy. Just drops him right onto the floor. Oh, so bad! I had a broken nasal. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got what you deserve, you little fuck. You sitting right in your mouth. Shiku said, "Fuck you" to the wrong. No, the the guy was behind him. He was like a mafia dude, and he's just like, "Beep, beep. Come on, motherfucker, go!" And then G just leans out. He's like. Fuck you. <laughs> With that much the guy gets out, rips him out of his car, and knocks him out cold. What'd you do? Were you really knocked out? He hit me, and I felt, well, you know you don't remember when you get knocked out like an hour. <laughs> I think this, this, is, to see this is what's been told, because a lot of people, my friends, witnessed it. The dude, like, I turned around, and he's right there, and just sucker punched me, and my head fell back, and the, and it, the back of my head landed on the edge of the curb, and 
that's what really knocked me out. Ow. He probably just broke up with his girlfriend. He was just like a <laughs> man at the world. He was just mad at the world. Actually, the girlfriend I moved down to Philly with, she, uh, who's that? She ended up date. She ended up Jody? fucking shit. No, no, no. She ended up fucking one of my good friends, and now they're married and have a kid together. Who, oh, Jody? Oh, Jody? No, did it? not Jody. Uh, I was gonna say, I was just skinny ass heroin hip to pop out a kid like that. <laughs> nah, this girl lives. I don't know if you that girl's on so much goddamn e. It's retarded. A C C E head. Uh, e head. Jody. She's a cu- G. She, she's she's the biggest. Take up for she is the biggest rave head I've ever met, dude. Probably uh, every second I've I've met her, she just did a line and now she's doing e. Does she show oh, up at your house for sex with like glow sticks? Dude, <laughs> dude, she she's so fucking shallow that she would actually be like. G, saw you on Viva the Band last night. Why don't you come over here and fuck me? And you'd be like, huh, okay. Yeah, I'll feel over like 10 minutes. G would totally agree. Do you want anything from the store? But, but it's not like she would see it and then be like, gee, we should hang out sometime. No. That's I saw you on Viva the Band and I want to fuck you tonight. Man, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. I just don't love the bitch. Yeah, no, no. But yo, you Matt, did though, G. <laughs> G, you were uh, hard over heels for that whore. We were together for a while, brother. That Please. means nothing. She's a fucking e popping, coke sniffing rave whore that fucks with glow sticks in her hands. I hand. think she <laughs> was. She was. <laughs> she, she, has, she has glow stick dildos that she probably just sits <laughs> yeah. on and drives around town as she pops in. I think she turned, well, she she turned into a religious freak now. So that's okay. what happens when you're drug a drug addict. Do that, dude. Yeah. They go She's from drug addict. you see his tattoo. I found God at some point. Yeah, don't really act like it now, but. I did drugs, I get this goddamn Lord Pray For Me tattoo on me, and I feel like I found God. Then my mom tries, she calls me up when I'm in this rehab, it's only 28 days, she's like, well, Novak, you got about 10 more days, I'm not letting you guys come back home, I found this place for you. I'm like, alright, mom, sign me up. The fucking car comes to pick me up, I'm thinking it's a recovery house, it's a fucking, uh, a prayer house in the middle of Pennsylvania. Like a, like I, I canceled the whole trip and ended up shooting dope again because I didn't want to. I wasn't going there. Just because you didn't want to do that? Yeah, dude, I'm not going to go to prayer study all day. You know, sit in big cornfields and read Bibles. I mean, it's not. Yeah, mom, don't worry about it. Everything's good. I found God. <laughs> now, now let me get a hundred bucks. <laughs> Damn, girl, look at you, yo, man. I want to buy you a drink, yo, bam. Let me get five bucks. <laughs> no, that's the type of dude that'll fucking none. You actually called me up the other night. You're like, you got any nuns I can fuck? <laughs> yeah, partner. Dude, <laughs> Men's are the fucking most ugly bitches <laughs> I've Amish. ever seen. What about Amish? Dude, I think it's a tie. Amish and nuns are neck and neck. Dude, why are nuns so fucking ugly? Uh, I, I don't think so. Hey, there you go, I fellas. Mean, I think serious radio is just like, uh, I don't think we should talk about how ugly nuns are and fucking them. Fuck so nuns, they're ugly yeah, as well. Well, well, fuck nuns. We'll talk about Amish well, bitches. Because yeah. Amish bitches can't even own a radio because they can't use fucking batteries because they're stupid idiots. And apparently they don't believe in razors because they all have fucking mustaches. I mean, wh- why? Come on. Think about it. Well, I get it. We're in the we have century. all this technology, editing systems. Anything we have what? Boom boxes. We have <laughs> anything you... You can, watch, you can watch TV and play video games in your car if you want, and these dipshits are still rubbing two sticks together to light the, their candles so they can read a fucking book. <laughs> They're still pissing and shitting in buckets. They can have a goddamn a bobcat come in, and they can put up a house in two days instead. These dipshits are doing the hardest work, lifting it up themselves, trying to hammer it down, taking two years to build it. It's like, are you stupid? I just hope they have like 20 mil in the bank because they don't spend their money on That's dicks. That's what I'm saying. Like, they don't got no electricity bill. How no they, cell phone bills, no cable bills. Corn? Do they, they sell better have corn to make a no, living? I saw something? some Amish people doing work on a house down the street, and so you can see Amish from a mile away. I swear to God, I'm driving past the house, this little and, and they got the fucking um, the overall straps, <laughs> and they all got that juice. bobcat haircut, long blonde, which is like a straight around bob. Ishmael. Yeah, it's Ishmael. like Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael from the uh, the movie. Uh, <laughs> Ishmael, feed, the, feed yeah. the horses because we need them to have energy so they can take us to the store. You fucking idiot! I'm gonna smoke you so bad. <laughs> you in my Hummer. I, I'm gonna go to the I'll grocery your store. Horses. I'll watch a movie. I'll go to fucking Japip and back, and I'll still beat you to wherever you're going. What because the hell is what's some the capital, Amish state? What's the capital of that one? Yeah, what's capital of Japip, genius? Oh, uh, Pago Pago. I'll believe it because I don't know anything. I do yeah, believe it that too. Up. I'm like, good job. You are smart. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't think Japip even exists. <laughs> Yo, man, remember that fucking stalker bitch that um oh. called up Fairman's and killed Aaron's looking for me and said uh, and called. 
up serious saying that we said we buy our plane ticket to come here and ship. Oh, that f oh, dude. Well, well I gotta hear the love of Baltimore for this before we talk. Uh, about yeah, that. man, I went. I'm oh man, chance. fifty oh. cent love of Baltimore. Gee, you oh, this? It's all about heroin. This is the first nice. hip hop. This is the first uh, hip hop. Radio Bam Series twenty eight. All about heroin from Baltimore, where I shot dope. Later. Hi, fi kids. Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Bam. I'm serious. Twenty eight faction. That was fifty cent. And Lloyd Banks? No. Yeah. Unit? I don't even like hearing you say their names. This is Radio Bam, and uh, I, mean, I got hey. Shit Goose here, Heroin Novak, Mike Nutt, my avid editor. We're working on a hymn documentary, and I'm here on Morphine. Hey, hey, lucky you. Bleeding out of your head. Lucky you. You're here, here buddy. If, if you're new to the show, I just got 12 staples in my head due to diving off of... Uh, uh, Who banana, the fuck knows what? Car? What were you diving off of? You said banana car. I drove. Oh, uh, I drove this three. banana car into this moat off of like five feet high, and then uh, once it landed, I did a gainer off the top because I was standing on the roof. Were you loaded or something? No, but Jared did a flip into it, so then I did a gainer right up. after him, and uh, he told me that it was seven feet deep, but it was two feet deep with major sharp rocks. How high up were you um, doing the gainer? You know how high was the, the drop? Well, being it's a big banana car, I went to the oh, top. Oh, so just off the top of the car. Yeah, but on the two feet, not knowing, I was picturing doing like a nice deep dive, you know? That's crazy to try again off the top of a hood. Yeah, oh, what's I, up? I only did a one and a half, so I did. I landed dive. If I would have, if I would have barged the gainer, I probably would have been all right. Man. Man. So what's up with the, I'm just glad you're high on morphine because I've been begging you to play that song for years, dude. He has to be on hard drugs to play any songs I ever want to hear. All right. <laughs> so I'm, let's just I'm keep away drugs, guys. I want him to play. You know why I don't play hip hop? Turn on FM radio, and, and every motherfucking station is playing. <gasps> yeah, who's a freak? I'm a freak. I put my finger in your dirty hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that song is all about heroin. Just heard that. It's great. Man. I want you to play Nine Inch Nails, man. Gene, that's shut hard up. To hear. I'm playing some other time. So yeah, I hey, forgot, dude. Good. So the bitch, yeah. that the stalker bitch, she called up Sirius. She said that we said we buy her ticket. As like, she got the the big wigs number of Sirius, not like just a regular dude of Sirius, like the high up bosses, and said that they, that Sirius would buy her tickets. She called Fairman's, saying looking for me and you, and she called Kildares. I'm in town today, so she's here. I was. Is she trying to bang you out? Here? Yeah, but let me tell you a bit what she's like. I log. I'm on the cell phone talking to her. If you called me up, and uh. I'm fucking laying serious. Like, Brandon, this bitch is four times my size lengthwise yeah. and eight times my weight body weight size. The bitch is like a goth. Well, goth bitches like me. Why them goth bitches like me? Like, I like primped up pretty bitches with primp nails and pretty but hair. You dress, you dress gothic in But I don't yeah, metal -y, whatever. I, don't know. I just wear his shit. This is all Bam <laughs> shit I wear. You do have a cradle of Phil's shirt that says Gilded Cunt. Yeah, well, that's But I like the gnarliness. A girl that like probably dances or like gets her fucking yeah, manicure. Then, then dress up in a suit and tie, button up, and go football. Like, <laughs> You're yeah, right. On, Very good. Salute this guy. She walks up. Sticks. She's like Brandon. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I wasn't even stoked to talk to a broad like this, dude. Like, uh, yeah. She's gonna be listening to this next week. Who cares? <laughs> I the fuck, know. I do. I know, hey. So, uh, and she's shaking. Like, I'm like you or something. Like, the bitch is ready to have faint over me. I'm like, bitch. I'm like the dirtiest fucking low life ever me. Why are you so ecstatic? And she proceeds to like ask if she. I'm not famous. I'm not a movie star. I have zero dollars in the I bank, know. and I've been on heroin for ten years. Why are you ready to? Faint? Why are you ready to faint to see me? Tell me. I mean, I don't get it. My guy damn self the bitch proceeds to like really follow me to my car and I, I you know how broke I am right <laughs> wait, now wait, wait, wait. listen listen Your I'm car. so broke I'm so <laughs> broke I don't even money to pay the meter I gotta park like back in the neighborhood so I don't get a ticket <laughs> you laugh I'm serious so fucking that's why we're laughing. I turn around and yeah. the bitch is like still t I had to fucking put on my Adidas running shoes and like sprint man cause she was like hot on my town what's the outcome of it the outcome is the bitch is crazy, she's a ming hag, and she's in town looking for me, and I don't like it. How long is she in town for? Um, Who the fuck knows or cares? How, How much is overweight is she? Well, I'm like 140, she's probably 420. No, 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 no. Exactly. I know. Really, she's like three. Two, I know who you're talking about. Shut up. Do you know how heavy 280 is? Yeah. That's like Phil heavy. I know Phil yeah. 323. I, I, heavy than Phil. I watched Larry Fit Club last I know night. who you're talking I've seen photos of this girl. She ain't that. She a little she look big. I yeah, she did what you did, G. She sends fake pictures. Uh, all right. <laughs> you know about that. You G. say you're this person, G. but you're really this person. How heavy is she? Oh, she doesn't look. I just see. I just see like from the neck up. So she's in that's town. Not, sure. Who cares? Two hundred pounds or like two twenty. She's in the twos. It doesn't look like it. But hey, that's him. You've seen her in person, and I will stick with. I'll tell you, I'll fuck any bro. But this girl, I got, and I was sober too, man. Like, you know. 
So what's up with the Boston chicks, is, chicks this week? Uh, yeah. You wouldn't hump her? That, uh, Are you aware that you just licked a dude's ass? Oh, yeah, we killed about the other that. Night? Tell, tell yeah. the story oh, about that, Oh, gosh. Yeah. I, um, I made a bet saying that I'd give Novak $75 and I'd give the other jock $25 <laughs> if Novak could lick his ass at the bar. I mean, Novak, the bar, Friday night, standing room only. Novak spreads his ass open, yeah, yeah, licks it up and down, I and then I realize that too. I don't have any money. <laughs> I still got paid, but I don't you know. And, yeah, I do have a photo. Yeah, I, I have, have a photo. Photo. late photo. And the yeah. funny thing is, is we had these two Boston fucking bitches, if you're listening, don't ever come back. Um, <laughs> they come here, they send us these emails, pics for Novak. NG, where he co-signed on that one. <laughs> it's a fuck. So they write on the email, yeah, send well, all you. pictures to uh, Novak and NG to uh, <laughs> RyanGPhotography.com. I got a girlfriend now, so <laughs> I don't care anymore. So these bitches are like, yeah, we'll give you a great story, Novak. He doesn't care anymore as he's looking at internet porn as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've got to tell you the first night they were, came solo. If you don't care, yeah, why'd right? you come solo the first night? Yeah, G, what's your name? He, he was, <laughs> he's dog. I just came. He's, I just came to the party, go, man. His exactly. girlfriend comes every right. time, but the first time these two girls are here, the anyway, first night he comes. Anyway. <laughs> his girl might be listening to Shane. Did you put your finger in her duty hole? <laughs> Dude, these bitches weren't hey. putting fingers nowhere, man. They, I was, I just, I was, G, tell me, you mean tell me right now, I walk in here and tell him. All right, we're just chilling out. Just drinking in here. I'm, I'm just, you know, just chilling, being nice. Just dude. being nice because I'm a nice guy. And fucking this dude comes in naked. Who's this dude? Yeah, yeah. This dude is Novak. In right? this room, yeah. He comes in fucking naked. Yo, bitch, why? You know, like, if you're not gonna fuck right now, just get the fuck out right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm naked. I got a small dick. But fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out. If you're I not gonna put out. <laughs> if, I, if I want girl company, I'll call my sister and my mother to come keep me company. I was like, like why? Because <laughs> really, you know, this is where we hang out. But girls like are dying to get here. So if you're gonna but, let these fans come, like, do something to be here. What That's do you how I feel? What do you expect the first night? hanging out with you you'd lick a dude's asshole I, I don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck why but do you think I won't tell you how I feel if you looked up taking your morals and chucking them now out the window it would just have a picture of Novak in the dictionary <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like if, if you looked up throwing your morals out the window in the dictionary and it was there it would just have a picture of Novak like yeah <laughs> it's yeah. Novak. yeah yeah it's Novak I spell Novak all right, all right, but you yeah, hung man, out. With I'm trying to fill out this paper. Yeah, how do you spell Novak? You hung out with them the second night, though. They're pretty mellow, but they still fuck didn't give bitches. you what you want. That but I, I the blonde that. hair one was nice. The dark hair one. They can both friend. suck a dick. Yeah. Attitude problem. The thing is, if you contact one of us through Sirius Radio saying that you're coming down to party, obviously you listen to the show. Obviously, you know, we know that now. Novak's a scumbag. They know what's so up. if you met us through Sirius and you're coming down the party and you're not going to put out. Don't come. Don't come. <laughs> it's just gonna have Novak complain, and I, got, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. And I gotta be rude, and, and I'm a nice rude, guy. And he's gonna walk nice around guy. naked and just whipping his dick. I mean, him. maybe they don't have to put out. Maybe they could go skinny dipping in the pool. Yeah, that's what I said. They would. Uh, there was one dude in the pool naked. I'm like, girls, I don't even want to fuck. I told him. I said, look, I don't yeah, want to no, fuck I you. you, you I said, that. I don't want to fuck you. I have no plans on fucking you. But at least just get naked in the pool or something like your yeah. fans. You're here. Even if, like a sexy yeah. thong that's or something. That's all I said. Literally, get in the pool. Just get half naked. That's all I said. Jeez. After so I said. after you went to bed, the blonde did get in the pool in her underwear. <laughs> yeah, no, she did. Yeah, actually. after we went to bed, that's like exactly. a waste of time. But her friend just sat there like just oh, yeah. boner killer, yeah, boner killer for her. Oh, dude, at the Fifty Cent house. Yeah. Ah! Fuck, dude, 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 there's these fucking dude. There's about a hundred. He just tells me to get round up. Listen, now. listen. There's a hundred hot ass models. Wearing like thongs and high heels, but these dude, these two Ming hags managed to get in there somehow. <laughs> I can't now. I want to hear the story. I heard them arguing in the corner. It was so funny. One of the bitches must have yelled at him because yelled she was in the corner. Because where me and Missy were sitting on the lawn chair thing, it was yeah. like kind of like secluded. You know, like you'd have to walk out. So they chose there to like talk about it. They're just like. Look, the only reason why all those girls were saying that, that we're ugly and we're nasty is because they're just jealous. So just like, dude, these bitches were fucking ming and they had back fat. They yeah. had like uh, buck teeth. Uh, black they, or white? Uh, they were white but trying to be black. Oh! Uh. But, dude, they... they <laughs> Do you like that? I don't know how they got... They must have jumped the fence with their high heels. Like, they must have <laughs> went in the back, climbed the fence, they had their, 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 pump, they they had their pumps on. <laughs> <laughs> Them bitches are hurling fences to get over there and suck it. If they have back fat, how do they fit in the high heels? 
Dude, I've seen some fat ass strippers and next to nothing but these heels that are like 12 feet long. Dude, I'm telling you, they were out. swell out. <laughs> and it's insane, <laughs> dude. Dude, because when like 50 Cent would like walk by all the girls, like they would all like poke their asses out extra yeah, and like, like put the little shove their titties out, like just try to look yeah. extra sexy. And it was like, dude, Missy had on like jeans and like a nice like sexy wow. expensive long sleeve shirt or whatever. Right. Like not long sleeve, but like. Dude, wow. he, he came up and like <laughs> talked to her because he didn't know that she was there with me. But like, really, dude, no she, was, she was the only chick there that was dressed nice. I he's like probably it. so over seeing <laughs> these bitches with yeah. pearl thongs up their ass yep. and shit. He wants a class. Because it's, it's kind of like it's kind of nasty after a while. Like, does, does he have a girlfriend? Did he have a girl there with him, or was he? What was his Are deal? Are you kidding me, dude? No if way. that guy has a house with fifty bedrooms, he could have fifty <laughs> girlfriends. So does he? Is he worried about this curse on his house? Did, did you guys talk like about all that? Nah, probably. Not. Uh, he probably doesn't know about it. I mean, oh, he's got to know. He's got I was ta I was talking to a guy from Farmingdale who's been there all his life and shit. He just played piano at this church and Fifty Cent liked the way he played the piano, so he invited him over for the party. So he just told me like the uh, all about that house and you know I don't think you you should tell Fifty that he'd probably be like I ain't hanging out with you no more. Yeah, they just walk on pins and needles around that dude, man. The life of a fucking millionaire rapper. I don't think it matters. Uh. Fifties. Uh, See, the thing good. is, Bam could have that lifestyle, but that's just not what he wants. So that's why it doesn't happen here. But those rappers, that's what the fuck they like, I think, from what I see on videos and shit. I mean, I mean, I mean. Well, why wouldn't you like it? You have models showing up, yeah. with, get just there to fuck. That's it. Dude, I wonder if someone pays them to do that. Oh, I'm sure. Model it, you know? I'm yeah, sure. there's, there's, Dude, there's probably a service. Yeah, like, you know, like to do that Gotta stuff be. for sure. So you didn't speak to Eminem at all one time? No. He didn't come down at all. I like it, actually. It's really cool. You know what I mean? It's probably just so... It's insane. awesome. But, dude, right. if you looked up wiping your ass with hundreds, that's what 50 Cent's doing right about now. Good for him. That guy must be so rich. I heard G-Unit clothing alone clocked, like, 50 million or whatever. Really? And he probably, and that gives, he probably gives, like, 3% of it to Lloyd Banks or whatever, so he gets to keep the other 47 million. Dude, yeah. half his homeboys, look, 50 Cent... Sells records. Uh, Lloyd Banks sometimes does. Tony does he have, Diego, does he have an album? Ever. Who? Lloyd Banks? Yeah. You good? Uh, I like, I'm I'm sure only, I've only heard the ones on video. He went good. platinum, I'm sure. Uh, not, not like 50 or Eminem. Yeah. And those kind of dudes have so much money, they just say, well, here's my album, but you just take like 2% of it. Just to make sure his buddies are always set. It's always set. Oh, they don't even got to put albums out, and they're millionaires for life. Dude, I'm telling you. Bam doesn't do that for you. They, they all have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have 50 or, million or dollars. <laughs> uh, and dude, they all had shirts and posters all over the place that said, game over. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I heard him a game with like friends though. They, that's all that. Who knows? I don't know. This one's devoted to the game and 50 Cent. Oh. What's this? More rap? Yeah, it's called Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> Bat Country. A new rapper's album on the block. Do you let Best band. rap song ever, Radio Band, Series 28 Faction. <laughs> Woo! Due to the graphic nature of this program. You need to come check this out, man. Say hello to everyone. Hello to everyone. Can I talk? Yeah, what's up, everyone? I didn't know you were recording this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know so. It's on. It's on the radio channel now. Nah. Yeah. You're fucking kidding me. You can't say that. I'm sorry. Serious 28 fashion. <laughs> we're going hot right now. Time for your life. That's what we found in Don Vito's ass. <laughs> This is Radio Bam, baby! On Faction 28. That was Event Sevenfold. <laughs> and that's the Bad Air on Synthetic Heroin. <laughs> I, uh, synthetic. If you're new to the uh, show, I just took some morphine. This is Bam Marge. <laughs> and, uh, Dude, I didn't choose to do morphine, but, you know, if you're getting 12 staples in your head from diving on a shallow-ass rock, Dude, that rock must have been the sharpest rock in Pennsylvania. I kind of want to go find it and break my head open to get some morphine. You should you should have gotten <laughs> fentanyl. That's what I got when I lost man, my spleen. Man, fuck that, man. It's Fentanyl's way more than that money. Bet you money. I'll bet you anything, dude. I, I was on fentanyl for two morphine weeks. Morphine is the closest no, 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 thing no, no, to no. heroin you can get. Dude, morphine sucks compared to fentanyl. Hey, why am I talking to you dude, about I this? I am telling you this, man. You're I fat. Was... You're out of shape. You do I, nothing. Your right, motivation you're right, is zero. You're so right. That's all you know. That's your best retort. Yo, what do you have to go to court tomorrow for, Mike? Not. Um. Uh, I was uh on one of my motorcycles. Hauling ass through Philly. Ticket? Yeah, I got a ticket, but um, the Come way on. the way the cop pulled me over was a little bit iffy. Oh, you is know? this the one that he threw you down with the gun under? He threw my helmet yeah, down 95. What? He threw your helmet? 
All right. Were you by yourself? Should, should, we, should, we, should we tell this story? Yeah, tell this story. It's not even his fault either. It's not even my fault, dude. Yeah, all right, let's it, hear it. It's all right, it's the beginning fault. of this summer, and uh, what happened was it was one of those first perfect nights of the summer, so every asshole in Philly had their bike out, you know. Yep. And, I'm, yep. and I'm like, shit, dude, I'm just going home. I jump on the highway, jump on 95, going south. Three bikes blow by me, like doing a buck twenty. So I'm like, oh man, you know. And I'm getting off my exit, and I look, I look behind me. What kind and, of bike and, you and on? And there's a cop. I was on a TL 1000, you know, big ass bike. And uh, so this cop lights me up, and I'm like, oh okay, I'll pull over. I wasn't doing nothing, you know. Figuring it, he'll be all mellow. But he, I, I don't. For some reason, he he decided to pull in front of me and full on crash his car into the median. <laughs> And he actually crashed his car? Yes, he fucked up the front end of his car, crashing the meeting. That's just because he was so aggro? He was yeah. so mad at that these other seat. bikes were f flying down the highway. I am already off my bike. The motorcycle is turned off. Fast and Furious style? Whatever. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm standing there with my hands in front of me, you know, expecting to be all polite to this police officer. Yeah. And this dude rounds the back end of the car, and he's got his gun out, and... Two inches from my face, inside of my helmet, screaming F word, left and right. I couldn't even discern what he said for the first thirty seconds. He was just screaming, "Fuck this, fuck that! I will kill, I will f and kill you." Didn't, and he took your helmet and threw it. No, no, no. The first thing I was able to get out of what he was saying, he said, "Get your f and helmet off." So I, just, I, so I went for to take the strap off, and he pulled me and threw me to the ground with my helmet on and had his gun to my head so I was like with uh, the helmet on? yes I was like, I, at least you were safe and then it, you know, no 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 I, I, he couldn't panic because if he made any wrong moves this guy was going to shoot me in the head <laughs> he was that serious? he was no 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 spitting you know like screaming spitting. <laughs> so I got my hands up and I'm like dude what do you want me to do? what like what do you want me to do? <laughs> you got a gun I don't <laughs> um so like, get your effing helmet off so I, so I finally got like my helmet like that say fuck we're on yeah, serious radio serious buddy <laughs> say fuck that's right fuck alright um, so I get the helmet off, he takes it out of my hand, wings it down 95, and I'm like, oh, dude, what am I going to do for a helmet now? And, uh, doesn't read me my rights, so I'm figuring, like, uh, what, what, what's going on here? And he grabs me by the arm, he's got his gun out the whole time, fucking slams me against the car, opens the door of the car, throws me in the back of the car, and runs around to the front of the car, and gets in gets into the front seat and is banging on the dashboard, you know, and he's got it, uh, he clocks some dude doing 122 miles an hour. He must just call his wife <laughs> cheating or something, dude. There's no, 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 no. reason hold, that hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't, you, you don't know what his motivation was, and um, he's banging on the dashboard, and so finally he stops for three <laughs> seconds, I said, I said, what kind of cop loses his temper and like, on the dashboard? Fuck, 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 fuck. So did he leave your bike there? And the helmet laying on the ground? No, no, no. Uh, yes. No, the helmet's down 95. No, I, well, luckily, in Pennsylvania, you do not have to wear your wear a helmet on a motorcycle. If you're over 21. Exactly. And I had the right... What happened was, as soon as he got in the car, I said, luckily, my father is a captain in the state police, so what I said was, I finally got that out to him, and his jaw dropped. and Because he knew he fucked up. He didn't read me my rights. You he name dropped. Exactly. You I have a dropped. fucking lawsuit I on named dropped. Mike Nutt. Well, well, Fuck listen, well hold on. We're, we're going to court tomorrow morning. Fuck so, that. you know, we'll figure this all out. But when he turned around, after I said that, when he turned around and looked at me, like, he knew he fucked up. It's priceless. <laughs> yeah, he priceless. knew. He, right. he was like, uh, uh, uh. Well, my dad's the not captain. Not, not like, my yeah. dad is a police officer. My dad's the captain, the captain. of the state yeah. police. <laughs> yeah. he gets, state police are serious. So, not Philadelphia police. State police. Not your local police department. A state trooper. And then, and then, and then he did that, and he immediately jumped out of the car, ran around, and opened the door, got me out of the car, and said, license and registration. No way. Like, why would you need to throw me yeah. in the back of the car if you weren't going to arrest me? Well, what's your dad say to do about this? What's up? What's your dad's advice? Well, m my dad had uh, called his captain, and uh, apparently this guy uh, had, a, had, had a little problem with Sue this. Sue that bitch! <sighs> Courts tomorrow, man. You got a lawyer? <laughs> man, no, sue I don't the need fuck a lawyer. Out of I don't need a lawyer. Hey, you need a lawyer. To this sue guy, my guy. Um, was he like a young cop? Like no, no, he he, man, he was almost a veteran. Bitch. You know, he wow. he was he was angry. He was pissed off. You know, he oh was, man, he, you just gotta say that it was the first nice day of summer. So exactly. No, well, that's I, the reason. I, like, if you say that every dude had their bikes out, just be like, three dudes smoked me. You know, I was just cruising down the road. He pulls me over, throws my helmet, puts me in the car, doesn't read me my rights, doesn't ask for anything. Like he didn't. He didn't. And and the shitty part. The, the, the shitty part was, I was on the highway, 
and he threw my helmet, so I couldn't find my helmet. So I had to drive down the highway without a helmet Make on. Make him pay for a new helmet at least. <laughs> yeah, that's like two, three hundred dollars. It, it yeah. sucked, man. I had to stop like like ten minutes later after I got off the highway and I started and I like started shaking. It was it was pretty bad, man. I thought I, I thought that was it. I thought I was dead because this dude How had his gun dead. in my face and I was like, Why uh, the hell would you shoot me for speeding? God damn. I fuck the police. Play I'm NWA. Gonna, fuck the police. I'm, I'm going to go to bed because this morphine is hurting my head. So. Kicking in? I may have a good night's sleep, that's for sure. All right. You're going to wake up for like two days, Bosh. Um, I'm playing one last song, Cradle Filth. Nice. And this is an older that's song, Cradle from the Cradle to Enslave. This is uh, one that you probably haven't heard before, and you're wearing the goddamn shirt, so you better do your Cradle of Filth. I'll do that tonight. Schooling right Yo, now. Cunt. So uh, <laughs> say goodbye, fat boy. And uh, fat he's boy. talking to you, G. We're not fat. He's yeah. talking to me. Oh, say bye. Yeah, I'm not fat. I'm not fat, so I ain't saying goodbye. <laughs> he's husky. <laughs> well, then you can stay on the radio and talk to no one. Talk to dead air, you piece of shit. Later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Band. Radio Band every Monday. Radio Band every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Band. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Band at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Band at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later.